Hey, that's my pretty poster. You'll have to tack that up somewhere. It'd be a good job for Jeff. Where is he? He and Steve are over at Del Rio. talking to you just then uh, with my mother's tongue. And I said to you both health and prosperity for the rest of your life. Now, folks, I don't claim that Dr. Malone's home remedy can cure everything. But I do say that if you suffer from sciatica, lumbago, aching and swollen joints, if you've got disorder of the kidneys, if you've got stomach trouble or chest trouble, if you suffer from impediment of the speech, then, my friends, I can cure you. Now, folks, I'm going to have my agent pass through you with some of these bottles. Thank you very much. The price is a dollar a bottle. I'll take a bottle, ma'am. Well, thank you, sir. What do you want with that stuff? Well, I've been having a little stomach trouble lately, Jeff. And, uh... Stomach? Sounds more like heart trouble to me. <laughs> Say, she's sure pretty, isn't she? So a girl finally caught your fancy. Well, it's about time. Well, if you have as many cattle as you say you have, and they're all prime stock, I'll get some money and meet you at the hotel in a few minutes. Then we'll take a ride out and look them over. That's fine for me. trying to round him up. Clem's had somebody held up a stagecoach. Looks like we got a full-grown crime wave on her hands. Say, maybe one of you better backtrack and escort that medicine show into town. There goes your chance, Steve. Say, that sounds like good medicine to me. You don't mean the medicine. You mean the gal. Hey, <laughs> what's this? I think Steve's taking the shine to the doc's daughter. You don't say. Well, they always say the older they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Look, I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble, that's all. You've gone bad, boy. Real bad. All right, all right. Nag, 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 that's all I hear. That's what drove my brother away. You and your infernal nagging. Let's hitch up the team and get out of this town. I'm sick of it. You should be. If they found out what you'd done, you'd be here for a long time, believe me. You go get Kathy and we leave. You're singing, Miss Malone. Thank you. I remember seeing you there. I'm Steve Allison, Texas Ranger. There's been a lot of holdups in this territory, and Judge Roy Bean sent me out to escort you into Langtree. Well, that's very nice of Judge Bean. And of you, Mr. Allison. Well, shall we get started? Yeah, please. Yeah, ma'am.
Howdy, folks. Howdy. Welcome to Langtree. Well, thank you. Oh, say, you must be Judge Roy Bean. That's right, that's me. Well, thank you very much for the escort. Oh, uh, Judge, this is my daughter, Kathleen. Uh, my son, Todd. Howdy. This is my deputy, Jeff Taggart. Good spot you picked for the show, Judge. Out of the wind and everything. Doc, you want to step down and walk over to the store with me? You got a little business to tend to before the show starts? Yes, I'd be glad to. Sure. Miss Kathleen, you like to come along, too? My niece, Letty, will sure be glad to see you. Oh, I'd like to meet her. <laughs> Can I give you a hand, Todd? No, thanks. We got everything worked out to a sort of a routine. Well, if you need anything, just holler. Sure will. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Lady? Doc Malone, his daughter Kathleen. It's Letty, my niece. Very nice to meet you. I did too. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you too, Miss Letty. Thank you. Kathleen, would you like to freshen up while these men talk about business? Yes, I would. <laughs> the mirror's over there, Kathleen. Thank you. I got it all figured out, Doc. It comes to exactly $10.50. Why, Judge, isn't that a little bit steep? Well, we've never paid more than seven, eight dollars at the most anyplace else. You got it all right here in black and white. See, there's two dollars for labor, fifty cents for rental of the saw horses and the boards, two dollars for tacking up the signs, five dollars for the license, two dollars for my drawing up extra business work. <laughs> I, uh, all right, Judge, that sounds fair enough. Oh, is everything all right, son? Oh, just fine, just fine. I'm going to need some shells, Judge. Forty-five. Thanks, fifty, Judge. Fifty cents. There you are. Hey. Here's your license for operating in Langtree. Oh, yeah, thanks. Where are you headed for next, Doc? Well, actually, we were headed for California, Judge, but we stop and play towns as we go along. It'll be a rough trip from here on to California. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'd better be getting along, Judge. I want to get things rolling. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Bye. Bye, boys. Bye. <laughs> that Doc seems like a regular feller. That daughter of his is a real lady, too. What are you hanging around for? I can escort her home. I'll wait. Must be getting traveling from town to town, the way you people in show business do. Well, Pop and Todd like that kind of life, but I'd rather settle down, have a life of my own. Oh, I'd give anything to go to Dallas or Chicago or St. Louis and see the plays and concerts and eat in those fancy restaurants. Takes a lot of money to travel in that style, Letty. Mm, I know. Well, I guess I'll be stuck here for the rest of my life. Well, I think this is a beautiful country. So warm and peaceful. Warm, maybe. But it isn't always so peaceful. Letty, tell me about Mr. Allison. You mean Steve? Well, he's one of the best rangers in the state of Texas. He seems peaceful enough, but he sure can be tough when it comes to law and order. Is he married? Heavens, no. No girl's been able to latch on to him yet. He doesn't stay in one place long enough. Oh. Boys, I just noticed something here on this map. Every place this medicine show has played, there's been a robbery. Somebody's using this show as a cover-up. They do their dirty work while the show's on, the people are all gathered together. Pardon me, Kathleen. May I walk you back to your wagon? Thank you very much. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Yes, sir. From the pattern of this thing, it looks like Langtree's to be the next victim. There wasn't a show going on when the stagecoach was held up. Nevertheless, I think you and Steve should do some patrolling while that show's on. Steve, you... Where'd Steve go? He went out with Doc Malone's daughter. I'm afraid he's got it real bad for that girl. Children, you know, I think that's the beginning of the end of a good Texas Ranger. <laughs> Todd, I was watching you when you were looking around that store today. Now, I'm warning you, if there's any funny business in this town, I'm going to turn you into Judge Bean. Now, don't get your dander up, Pa. I'm not planning nothing. Well, I wish I could be sure of that. I have half a mind to tell Judge Bean the whole story and have it over with once and for all. You do, and I'll tell him that you and Kathleen are just as guilty as I am. Now, you wouldn't do that to Kathleen, would you, Pa?
Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You, uh, matter of fact, folks, you just listen to one of the finest guitar players in the whole wide world. That man there has appeared before all of the crowned heads, all of the dead heads, and all of the bald heads in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to the star of our show, my talented daughter, Miss Kathleen Malone. I want you to be my baby, baby. Tell me, darling. Yeah, I just thought of something I intended to do. You keep an eye open, notice anybody that leaves. Be my baby, baby. I'll be your clinging vine. I'll spend every moment close to you. Close to you, close to you. I'll spend every moment close to you. Notice anything? Not so far. Or Steve. He's off patrolling. I'll go get my gun and take over. You go on down and join Lenny. Right. I'll spend every moment close to you, close to you, close to you. I'll spend every moment close to you. Me, they're trying to rob. You, you go out the rear, and I'll go out the front. Someone's trying to rob me. Come on. He didn't hear any horses go by. He couldn't have gotten too far. Went this way. Yes, that's just what I'll do. I want you to be my baby, baby. Tell me, darling, that you'll be mine. You will be my baby, baby. We'll have a love divine. Come be my baby now, don't you say maybe, and you'll have a love divine. Never mind. Go get Dad. Dad, come here quickly. Well, what's the matter? Oh, Todd. Todd! You're hurt bad. Bad enough. I've got a bullet in me. You've got to get out. Oh, Todd, you're a fool. You've done it for yourself now. Everybody knows that you're in town. They'll be looking for you. They don't know I did it. Bet they will. The minute they see you wounded, that'll be taken care of. Just get this bullet out of me. Daddy, Todd, what happened? I tried to steal some money and got shot. That's what happened. Get this bullet out of me. Get my bag, Kathy, and then you'll have to help me with this, dear. Thanks. Did you find the thief? No, not. He didn't leave town, I'm sure of that. Well, I've looked every place, even the chicken coops. I just don't see how... What's the matter, Uncle Rod? Hey, Todd Malone wasn't there, was he? You think he could have something to do with it? Now, wait a minute, Jeff. That's a hard thing to say. I'm not talking about Doc and the girl. But what about Todd? Todd was over at the show. Something funny going on here. Every time there's been a robbery, this medicine show has been close by. Oh, Uncle Roy, those people wouldn't rob a flea. They're too nice. Howdy, Judge. Can I get some supplies? What kind of supplies can he get you? Oh, a couple of yards of muslin and uh, some turpentine. Turpentine? Yeah, one of the horses got a burr in his throat. Ooh, well, that ought to take care of it. Here's certain time. All right, thank you. The muzzle is right over here. Just got this little piece left. That'd be enough. Oh, that ought to be enough. How much? Certain time will be 15 cents to muzzle and 10 cents. Right. Oh, uh, I hope you catch that thief that tried to rob you. So long. What? Well, I guess that proves Todd Malone didn't have anything to do with the robbery, doesn't well, it? Maybe and maybe not. When he ordered 45s, he wore his gun on the right side. Now he's wearing it on the left side. He's up to something. Come on. What 
up to, Judge. You two stay here. You come with me, Jeff. You both leave in town! Uh, yeah, Judge, we got a long way to go. You're leaving kind of sudden, aren't you? Miss Kathleen, uh, Letty and Steve are gonna be mighty disappointed you didn't tell them goodbye. Well, I'm sorry. I, I should have thought about that. I'll tell them goodbye right now. Doc, I'd like to lay a little supply of that medicine of yours. Well, uh, just how many cases do you think you'd need, brother? Well, let's see. There'll be, be a little run on it now. The show's been in town. Say about 30 bottles. 30 bottles, brother? I got 30 bottles right here in the wagon. I've come to say goodbye to both of you. I'm awfully sorry to see you leave, Kathleen. So am I, Kathleen. Well, I hate to leave. I'll carry him into the store for you, Judge. You can just leave that on the porch, Doc. I'll take it in later. I'll take it now, Judge. How much do you owe you for that mess? Uh, let's see. You get a discount. That'll be $15. After now, I'll make you a sporting proposition. Since I missed that varmint I shot at, I need to figure I need a little rifle practice. Well, what do you mean? Double or nothing, and I can hit every O in that sign on your wagon. No, no. You can't do that. That's all I wanted to know. All right, get out off that seat. Something wrong? Take this man's gun and put him under arrest, Jeff. All right, you in there. Come out of that wagon. You hear me? I said, come out of there. Him. They had the perfect alibi. I don't know whether you're Will or Todd. You're both in this together. You're charged with highway robbery, assault, and burglary. Now I'm a holding you without bail until I can turn you over to the custody of the Marshal of Soto City. Lock him up, Jeff. Let's go, you two. Well, Judge Kathleen knew absolutely nothing about this. I had an argument with Will several weeks ago, and he left us. He must have been tagging along wherever we went. You know, I knew that Todd was doing something wrong. I tried to talk to him like any father would, but... Uh... Doc, it's a sentence of this court that both you and your daughter be allowed to proceed on your journey and order Steve Allison to escort you to your next stop. That'd be a real pleasure, Judge. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Bring your show back to Langtree anytime you feel like it. Judge, thanks a million for everything. Goodbye, dear. Bye. Bye. to stand. 